Hey, how you guys doing? Uh, Alright, in this video we're going to be putting together one of the uh, buildings from the Fat Dragon Capital City set. Um, I've already gone ahead and pre-cut and scored everything. Um, if you have any questions about uh, cutting or scoring, um, you can check out the uh, intro videos that I've posted up as a three-part video that you can check out. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put this together. I'll lay these other pieces off to the side here. Um, I can tell you that uh, the way I do things, a lot of times I like to cut them and sort them so that it makes it easier to get everything together. Um, a lot of times I just lay things out. So we're going to just jump right in here so we don't waste any time. I always like to try to make sure I get buildings lined up, the textures line up pretty good, so I try to make sure you get them lined up really good. Um, the Capital City set has a lot of layer options in it, so there's a lot of different buildings that you can make uh, with this set. Um, uh, if you just follow along with the instructions, um, Tom has done a really good job of laying out the instructions. Uh, plus, if you have any questions, uh, they have some forums on there. I'm on there. There's a whole bunch of people that have been doing this a long time. Some of them a whole lot longer than me uh, that uh, can get on there and help you out. Uh, and please, that uh, I know some of you guys like to just lurk and stuff, but get in there and chat with us. We love to hear uh, things about new, new gamers and... Uh, people that are new to the cardstock hobby you know because uh, the more the merrier because uh, not everybody can think of everything Tom loves you for you to get in there and throw out ideas so, what we're doing here we're just gluing all the sections of the main building together Getting them all good and lined up. Sometimes that's a little, a little easier said than done sometimes, but that's like like with anything. The more you put these together, and this glue, you know, I just rub it two, three, four times, and it's pretty much dry. A lot of times what I'll do, uh, if it's flat, I'll just take and raise up my board and lay it on it, and it helps uh, keep that flat while it dries. So now we're going to go. This is a uh, an actual uh, two part building. There's a smaller building on top of the larger building. Uh, so I really like this building design. Um, gives you something. I mean, if you're playing. Um, Hero Clicks, Pulp City, uh, you know, any of those games that uh, miniatures games, that you know you want to get some elevation, um, you can do that. It's like with the other one, the bigger one, you just line your pieces up, try to get them as square as possible. I mean, they don't have to be perfect. I mean, if you want to try and lay a ruler down up to that and line the edges up, uh, but chances are, if you're like me, and you uh, freehand cut the tabs, the ruler's not going to really help you line them up. So I just depend on my eyes to help me line up with the textures. Just keep going across here, lining these up. I just run three, four, five down. Just run you, get it good and smooth. 
and this is really a fairly simple process and goes pretty quick once you get everything cut out. Now, a lot of people are you know, afraid that they're going to mess something up, but that's the wonder of these. If you mess a piece up, print it out. Print another one out. Try it again. You know, I don't throw any of these away. If I mess it up, it goes up as, uh, you know, I just use it as another piece. And I always check the back if I'm going to slide these under there to make sure the glue didn't seep. I'm going to stick that under there, kind of help hold it flat while it dries. The, these pieces here are the cap pieces that go around the edge of the roof. They slide on top. Tom has made these to where they're completely, the, the buildings are collapsible. So the roofs aren't, you know, the roofs will still be about, you know, yay thick, uh, which you'll see here in just a second. Um, but um, as far as that goes, you know, the buildings themselves are flat, so if you're really wanting to, you know, pack them up, take them somewhere, or for storage, if you don't have a whole lot of room at home, uh, you can do that. And like I mentioned in the intro video, um, about outlining or taking and lining up your uh, edges when you bend them or crease them um, on some time sometimes on these buildings I don't necessarily crease everything uh, before I do it now when I'm building dungeon walls I do but now on these per se not necessarily it's not a not a big deal if you don't uh, now there are some things uh, and I'll show you some of the additional pieces that I've already put together from this set um, that uh, it would probably behoove you to actually bend them prior uh, for example the water tower that uh, is included in the set uh, it would probably really benefit you to go ahead and actually uh, bend all the pieces and stuff at least uh, bend them to where they can uh, once you bend them over you can or glue them together you can bend them over easily without having to worry about messing up your piece so. this is a very simple process it just you know, takes a little time just like everything else and, and you know depending on how good you want it to look is how much time you spend on it you know, if you're in a hurry, you can throw them together pretty fast. You know, this whole process shouldn't take very long. Uh, and I'll uh, take a look and see how how much time I spent on this. Uh, shouldn't be much. Of course, I go a whole lot faster when I'm not talking. But the whole point of these videos is so you guys can see how these things go together. Uh, and that you know anybody can do them. Right, I'm gonna slide those off to the side. We're gonna go ahead and get one of the get the buildings back out. Okay, there we go. Now these are probably pretty close to dry, if not already dry. Now what, what I do here, one of the easiest ways I've found to get these buildings to line up, is to simply fold it over fold one side over and then fold the other side over flat and then you can just put your glue on that and lay that over that way the building will be flat and it usually comes out pretty square when you do that the only thing you want to make sure you don't do is your glue run out on the tab in the back and glue your two sides together no I've done that before not a good thing you know, sometimes you may have to adjust to get it to line up just right. There we go. And same thing with the other. I'll slide it up under here. Let that put pressure on it. Same thing with this piece. 
the piece with the big tabs this is the bottom here this is the top because this is where don't worry about this white stuff up here he has a glue thing on there you can glue the top on if you want you don't have to I plan not to because I've got so much terrain now that uh, anything I can do to save some storage space is great. Perfect. Same thing with this one. I'm going to throw it up under there. And I do these the exact same way. I simply take fold them in where they line up same thing here where they line up and then I will glue this piece on just like so you don't necessarily have to put them under here. A lot of times I do that just to keep them on the table, keep them out of the way while I am working on another piece. For the most part, your building pieces are done now. Uh, the actual buildings are done. These right here uh, is where we're going to put the roof on. Uh, this, These pieces here, right here, are the actual roof pieces.